Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Took two puffs of that. Oh, we're rolling. That cone that I rolled in Connecticut. <sighs> I think cones are shaped backwards, by the way. Because the first like couple, <laughs> the first couple like drags of <laughs> cone that you take, it's like a shotgun blast in your face, and then you're slowly smoking less and less and less and less. They should be pointy on the end and get fatter as they get to your mouth, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> like shaped like a fucking wedge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a fair point. I never thought, you might have just disrupted the cone industry. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, yeah, you're beefing with the geometry of cones right mm -hmm. now. I'm telling you, dude, I would rather get gradually nicer and nicer than walking to get coffee and a breakfast sandwich and be like taking one drag and be like oh, <laughs> oh. yeah but i think that's the way nature's set up it's nature set up in cones if you try to well we're, we're smoking the wrong end i'm saying i'll smoke it can still be a cone just give me the other end you might have to get into pinners mm. pinners is a very classy thing to get like very skinny little joints mm. no but you're a blunt yeah, man so yeah but he needs that fat end do you need the fat end? He yeah. can't, he can't <laughs> not have that fat it end. It better not be a cylinder. <laughs> Dude. You might need exploding, you, know, you might need a lumpy <laughs> joint. It's like exploding <laughs> pockets. <laughs> or get into putting hash in your joints. Mm. Oh, okay. Put, put a, a belly, you big, put a belly in it. Oh, you put a big fat hash ball in there and you know when you hit it. You hit it and go, <laughs> <laughs> You go, there she is. And you get way too yeah. high. But yeah, so, all right. So, But no, I, I yeah, I, that's a, why couldn't you do that? Smoke the skinny end first and get into the fatness. I, mm, yeah, but then you you the work uh, you do the hardest part first, and the rest is a downhill slide. Mm, Once the first like oh, man, I hate that you're having me phrase it like this. Once the first like two inches of the fat end of the cone ooh, kick pause. in. Pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> once once Excuse you me. finish that, once you get you know. You integrate that into your body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might go suicide by Paul's right now, dude. It's any taste of possible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess because then the rest of it's a downhill slide. I'm thinking about all the times I've stepped out of a wedding to conquer a cone and come back in. Mm -mm. You start, you're in a parking garage. You got through the far, first part. You're going like, oh, my God. And then you go, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> and you walk into the wedding and you go. Where's my wife? I must find my wife immediately. Getting so high at a wedding is so fun, dude. Yeah. So fucking fun. Yeah. Drinking's, I mean, drinking's fun too, I guess. That's fun too. But dude, getting way too high where you're like the only person excited about the cheesy lights from the DJs. Dude, I'm officiating. I'm officiating in April. Oh my you're God. You're officiating the wedding? Yeah. Do they, the do they know your stance on cones? It's <laughs> oh, nice. I'm Did you know I'm officiating <laughs> or officiating? I'm officiating our friend's wedding. You were it, telling it, me I didn't know the scope of it. Yeah. What's the move? What's the point? I know you have something up your sleeve, dude. Are you going religious? Are you going like fucking atheistic, love based? How dude, are you doing it? I, 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 I obviously, I'm going to have to tap into the global vibe. Unfortunately, for these people's family, um, well, I, I mean, don't know. Did, did they give I don't you, know what you're supposed to do. Did they give you parameters for like, or they're just like, just rip it? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I think they're going to kind of just be like, whatever. All right. So are you ordained? In Delaware, yes. Yes. That's a, no. That's just like a weird thing on the back of your fucking X Men card. Just ordained in Delaware? Yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, you just go on a website and do a thing. And oh, it was like after they were, they, it was like, because <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, it's not, yeah, they didn't find me. Did they, <laughs> they, what was the test? Was it, was it like, do you love love? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the test? There is oh. no test. Men can marry men, women. Yeah. <laughs> men can also marry men. Don't freak. <laughs> yeah, and, and like in my mind, you did pop up, like when they were looking for like, ordained locals and you popped up and they're like oh shit well i guess now i can start advertising in delaware as a as a i don't know ordained minister representative of the state and an ordained minister mm. what a joyous occasion i know that's how i feel that's certainly very <laughs> joyous 
I thought I was going to, when I first read the text message asking me to do it, I thought I was going to be like, oh, come on, I don't want to do that. But I was instantly just like, wow, how special would that be? <laughs> yeah, man, that'll be a fun I the time. gayest response possible. What, how special? Or yeah, going like, wow, magical. That is, dude. I mean, again, you a lot of people, I feel like, say yes to that because they're like, finally, it's, this will be like a meaningful kind of thing. And then they kind of chode their way through it where they're like, oh, okay. You can get so mystical, dude. Oh, yeah. You could get, oh my, oh, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm going to wear a cape, actually. Dude, you should do a barefoot. <laughs> wow. Barefoot and a cape? Native headdress, I would say. <laughs> native headdress at the very bare minimum. What are you talking native about? Native headdress. But, so much trouble. Native headdress, but then like, in, like, like a- Like Mayan? Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. You can't get in trouble. There's no Mayan <laughs> left, dude. You go Mayan, like Quetzalcoatl headdress, but then with like a oh, yeah. like a Hindu guard. Oh yeah, what about wings? With a Chinese pan? I don't know, dude. I'm just thinking like best of both worlds. Yeah, obviously. Quetzalcoatl. You gotta oh, have yeah. wings. I would like. You gotta have wings. I would like the to serpent be will return. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing a 700 pound pair of stone wings the oh. entire time. <laughs> dude, your shadows are going to be sick. <laughs> You're painted. I'm going to terrorize this way. Yo, but for real, henna, shirtless henna, at least. <laughs> <laughs> With eye makeup, <laughs> he heavy, heavy dark eye makeup. Damn, yeah, big rope necklace. <laughs> You're, you'd have pants that would be designed to like your penis would be obviously on display in a way where like it's obviously in your pants, but it's like it's prominent, <laughs> like cheap boxers basically, but pants version. And you're, it's like yeah, yeah. There's an area for your dick and balls, or like if you move, like, like someone sees the outline of your helmet, and they're like, what the fuck? Are you wearing sheepskin pants? What is this? <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, oh, that'd be dude. pretty sick. Oh yeah, I'm wearing, so excited. wearing pants made out of condom material. Yeah, that'd be tight. <laughs> <laughs> people can watch. The, it's in their see through, so people can watch you sweat, drip by drip. Mm. Yeah. If you wore a latex bodysuit, that would be nasty. <laughs> what about a mesh tank? <laughs> a mesh tank. Mm. I thought you said put yourself inside. I was thinking like a tank. So. <laughs> so if you're in some sort of tank, this is me. I'm a man without love. I'm in a tank, separate from the world. Dude, you should do performative art. <laughs> separate from the world. Yeah. Man, yeah. <laughs> but do you got? Are you got? Are you just gonna Google like a wedding program or like what's the move? I'll, I'll, I'll ask what they are expecting me to do. And you I'll have to sit down. Do that. I was yeah. testing you first move. You got to say, guys, what do you guys want? Yeah, it's, it's I'm all a about fishy, them. I'm a vessel of your love. It's all about them. You guys are gonna fill me with your love. <laughs> oh, you should on the sneak have everything right <laughs> until I spill over. <laughs> just like. Like real <laughs> sneakily, like make make it all rhyme, and nobody yeah. will notice until the end. Like, holy shit, did that rhyme? Did that whole oh thing rhyme? God. I think they'll notice immediately though with the rhymes. Yeah. No, I don't even notice until <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 what the love and dove come up. They're like, holy shit, is he rhyming? If you won, they'll go love and dove. That could happen to any of us. <laughs> 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 kiss, kiss and piss. Uh, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, but dude, you have to like, just get real intimate. Be like, guys, you are going to make love after this. And just imagine me between both of you. My ghost body, obviously. Ooh. Neither of you are penetrating or feeling me. <laughs> but my ghost bodies, right? Like Patrick Swayze. I'm between you. You are the human that is in the middle of their Venn diagram. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I am literally a vessel for them. They're going <laughs> to film me. And I'm <laughs> hugging your wife. You're a Chinese finger trap. Like can both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hugging your they wife. They can both enter you. <laughs> lightly pushing down her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, could you imagine? If that's not me. It's Could love. you imagine sucking <laughs> dick is no, all right, that's <laughs> enough. That's enough, dude. That's too far, Cindy. I was talking ghost that's body. A, yeah. That's a vessel. That's Matt, the vessel. Matt was the, eloquent. Listen, and it's not and, the vessel you want. It's the vessel we need. I think that's the vessel you're going to need to be. <laughs> you, yours was a sledgehammer, Sydney. You disgraced the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but that was a good idea for a wedding. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The sacred and the profane, the best of both worlds. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's funny laughing along. Going, oh. <laughs> I don't want to think about the fact that I do that. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> what about like devil horns? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> like, full Dionysus. Santanic ritual? Yeah. You come out like Pan, dude. Oh, you better not. 
Yeah, you like better not. Devil from the Pick of Destiny, basically. Oh, I thought you were saying just like doing this with like <laughs> two painted fingernails the entire time. Just yeah. like <laughs> getting married is fucking sick. Uh, no, I was thinking about more so you on your knees just lurching up as hard as possible. Like, yeah. It's a very physical element to love. We are gathering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wearing furry boots with heels. <laughs> you have snake contacts. <laughs> uh, I'm screaming the uh, entire ceremony directly into the sky. Yeah. Like, I didn't know Butterly's nipples were pierced. Did he get that for the wedding? <laughs> you can see a Prince Albert through his pants. Oh, come on. I'm wearing a butt plug devil tail. <laughs> the, dad, the daddy paid for it. He, he's like, he had to like get talked into an additional like nine grand of stuff. He's like, what's this going? It's, like, it's for the ceremony. A guy ramps the whole ceremony on a dirt yeah. bike. <laughs> he does a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. I'm gonna tell her I've got some ideas. How are weddings forty grand and no one ramps the ceremony on a dirt bike, dude? It's like I think these wedding planners are just—they hear wedding and they yeah. charge it up without, you know. That's a Mountain Dew wedding right there. Somebody, somebody in the trailer park is doing that. Travis Burke, Travis, Travis Barker, Travis Barker <laughs> definitely got his wedding ramped when he married. Who did he marry? Like Kardashian? He married a Kardashian. One of the Kardashians, yeah. Really. Interesting. Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Dude, what a taste. Yeah, all of like the groomsmen wearing like famous stars in strap suits. <laughs> Fox racing just <laughs> all over the fucking bridal shower. That's Damn. nasty. Mm. Damn. Can you say, can I see the bridal shower? Can you say, can I just... Can I observe? Yeah, just observe them for a night. You know, just like, can I spend a night with the bride? Just to talk to them. And interview oh, the bridal them. party, you mean? Not bridal the shower. Party. Bridal, yeah, my yeah, bad, yeah. the bridal yeah. party. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always sick to like see what's up. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? It mm. is. Like, who did you pick? And you go, sometimes it's nonstop knockouts, and you go, You should depose them. What are you doing to me, dude? You should yeah. have a deposition with all the bridal power and just like question them, just grill them all. The party. Yeah. Oh, if I, I just... need to know the sexual history of all the bridal <laughs> Every single one. Of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like a friend. I shouldn't do this. This is too bad. <laughs> I have no personal connection to them, so I can say whatever I want. I know. That's why I'm handing this over to you. <laughs> no, Sid already pigged out, dude. <laughs> you know these guys. I know. <laughs> I mean, that was too much. Which made me laugh even harder because yeah. he has tiny fists. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just any mental note to go back and just hit these names. As, just time stamp them as we go to get rid of them, please. <laughs> so, this is this is one we came. I'm, I'm excited for love. I'm excited for you to do that. That'll be very fun. Mm -hmm. I almost want to come and look and watch. I could probably get you on the guest list. No, no, no. <laughs> I would never do that. But, guys, what the hell is going on? We're, this is a race against time. Oh, it is. It's oh, a yeah. race against fucking time. The alarm should go We off. have plenty of time, dude. I know, yeah. but, dude, did you ever hear about a ticking clock? <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear about a ticking the clock? Please That's explain. I've device. never heard of it. It's a literary device. It's like you put it in stories. Oh, like yeah, dude. Class. We are ticking in a race clock. against time right yeah. now. Yeah, guys, I'm putting, I'm adding I'm the sorry. drama. Oh, you just fucking broke the ticking clock. <laughs> or or, is, or is, is foreshadowing involved in ticking clocks? Yeah, I mean, you could foreshadow, but like, there's a, yeah, I mean, for sure. In a way, well, you could, like, hint to the fact. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm thinking more framing. Dude, we got to get way more literary with this whole thing. Yeah, I was but. thinking that. I was trying to think of other literary devices, and I only came up with foreshadowing. I think so. Like, I think something's going to happen, and it might be loud and shrill. Mm. And say, guys, the alarms mm. might go off at any time. Why the fuck do they got to test the alarms? You know? It's like when you install They're probably them, good. Chirp them up. <laughs> test them once. If they chirp, you're good. <laughs> But I agree. I'd ra I honestly, th I'd rather risk dying in a fire any day than ever hear a fire alarm by accident. You're taking that from me. I can't. I don't get to escape. Actually, I guess some people don't escape. So mm. probably a good reason. I would actually, we should do a fire drill when it happens. When it goes off, we should all single file go outside That's of the building until the calm and placid as possible. We'll get the fire department to show up and let us know we can go back in. Fire drill. Can we call the fire department right now? Just be like, guys, Request the fire I just want to make sure I just want to time you guys. Yeah, I can do it. I'm like Ooh. paying your fucking salary. I'd love tax going. My taxes pay your salary, dude. Yeah, it's time to do a fire drill at so, my house. Sorry I called you and I stood naked in the window, <laughs> but <laughs> help, help me. <laughs> Damn, imagine that if like you, it, there was like, there was a blaze situation 
and you kind of panicked and a firefighter like pulled you and your wife out. Dude, if a firefighter had to baby carry you on the top of a big ladder that like <laughs> was being retracted and the news is just pointing a spotlight on you the whole way down. And you like at and one point tried to And you've got like back. one arm around his shoulder. <laughs> Dude, how, how bad would that suck? And the whole way if, down, if, he's I, like, if I'm naked, he's carrying me over his shoulder. I want the, oh I want the full fireman's carry. Dude, there's one ball pressing <laughs> through the back of your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, you try to kiss his neck with his gear, like a smoke proof <laughs> gear block you and you had to be like, well, I'm sorry, man. I was you had something on you there. <laughs> Try to kiss my neck. Sorry, I thought I thought that like we had like a thing there for a second. I thought you guys wore thin red plastic hats with a the little chin strap. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I guess I'm the only one feeling. Are you shirtless here. under this shiny jacket? Oh man, yeah, that would be if a fireman came in and rest and like pulled you out and your wife simultaneously. I think I think it's kind of over from there. Mm. Mentally, there's no the coming back. Yeah, there's no. That's coming like your back. kid dying. It poisons your relationship. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sorry if anyone's kid died. That was kind of crass. That, that was, was a little that crass. Was too far. <laughs> Bleep that. That's like if your <laughs> dies, it poisons your relationship. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I uh, I'm such a grief for dude. Because I've thought about that before. It's like, could I hold? Like, do they have like groups for that? Like families who experience like death of a kid, mm. and you go into like a church basement, and there's just a dude in like the oldest sweater, being like, yes, yes, tell me about it. Like, could you handle that grief circle? Could you be a grief uh, there's devourer? People, there's people who are strictly grief counselors, and it's just it's nothing but death. And you sit there. You have to have been touched. You think a little bit of that like excites them? Maybe you think they get a little bit of a chemical release from hearing the from plumbing the depths. Definitely at first, they've <laughs> it true. definitely started out that way. Or is it like a gynecologist where like the guy imagined it would be cool, and then it's just the worst shit ever? <sighs> yeah, it's just a cold probe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I've heard that there is a sort of thing in that world where it's like people do get kind of addicted to the suffering by proxy because you yeah. can kind of tap out of your own problems every day. You just be like, what happened? Oh, that's terrible. And you just completely, you just tap out of your own problems for like nine hours a day. Dude, there's also got to be a part of them doing that job where they're like, you definitely killed your kid, right? Ooh. You, you yeah, know what I mean? That's, like that, that's probably the ugly side of it. You're just listening and you're like, okay. Well, maybe right. there are a lot of people, there's a lot of negligence that does lead to that. Yeah. So you, that's part of the grief counselor. You have to be like, it's okay. You're like, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I told you, I did one volunteer thing for like uh, some sort of state sanctioned thing. And it was like, first case was like, the kid was left alone all night, died. And I was just like, yikes. Mm -hmm. Walked in and was like, this is. How long do you have to be left alone to die as a kid? That was kind of the question. Yeah, it depends I, I on think the color. kid was highly fevered. And they were, I, I, you know, I think it was a situation where the, the it was like a parent with like very, very limited intellectual capabilities. What was this? And a, it was like, were these white parents? No, mm. no, no, it doesn't matter, but I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I think it does. I think it does. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think black I'll children, I think black children are a little more resilient than that. Typically, typically you can leave black children alone for quite a while before they die. Yeah, well, I right. don't know. This kid couldn't even regulate his body temperature, Sid. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I'm, I, all I'm saying is, like, to me, it just seems like white kids just kill over immediately when they're like, well, I hate to ruin your good time, <laughs> but yeah, this is a black child that died. <laughs> yeah, where's your facts and logic to back that up, even? <laughs> I'm just saying. It was just an observation. Dude, this would no, be the a fair best question. If, I want to you know, create dude, space for that. If you found the right subreddit for this, it would be the best internet argument of all time. Yeah, yeah. Of all time. <laughs> oh. Are black children or white children better at surviving child abuse <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen yeah. start your subreddits <laughs> 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 yeah, I personally think that parent is lying about how long that child was left. I think so. It was it was a well, give, or, give or take a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. It was something. I think it fell from very high, and then you know, something. dude. Did you ever see? Okay, if you have a sweet tooth for the depths, I got one for you. Yes. Yeah. So I watch a lot of like. um <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sweet we, please, them. Sydney. Yeah. I, I was just, when he said they fell from very high, my brain was like, that is true. Black people cannot fall from higher than they can jump. <laughs> <laughs> that is, everybody knows that. If you fall from higher than your vertical, you die immediately. Oh, that'd be funny if the additional <laughs> details come out. Like, oh, and there was that one time it was like laying on his back and I wanted to see if it could support my whole body weight with his stomach and I stepped on it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> one of his organs kind of popped out and went back in. <laughs> but it, went back, it went right back in. Right back in. <laughs> you know, like a strong man, how they do that? Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. I'm sorry. Damn. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? <laughs> what are the depths? Plum the depths, dude. Here's the depths. So I watch We're a lot of it. We're sucking a bad feather right yeah. now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I, I mean, I can talk about just watching internet stuff all day. So just mm. Give it end it whenever you want. Paint the picture. So I watch a lot of these videos, the criminal <laughs> psychology videos, where they're showing like police interrogations of like retarded people who mm. commit like murders mm. and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it is the fucking best. The cops are stupid. The criminals are stupid. And the cops are you like reciting psychological tricks that they learn in like their training. And it's just so awkward and like ham fist. It's dude. It's so and it tricks all of these like retarded killers are tricked by the the police being like, "I'm your friend, bud. I need to help you out here, but you got to give me something, okay?" And they're like, "I didn't do it." And then like f for five hours they just repeat that, and eventually the kid's like, "Yeah," and the guy's like. You want you? I, I'm I'm here to I, I'm gonna help you and be your friend. You just gotta. Why did oh, you do it? Why did you do it? And they'll just be like, "I'm scared." And he's like, "I know you were scared. Tell me." And then like they open up completely. It happens every time. Anyway, he snatches dude, half a BFF necklace from him. Like, well, I'm gonna have to take this. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I get it. Remember that necklace I gave you five hours ago? <laughs> Can I see that? And you just snap yours off, dude. Mm. So this guy. He was in trouble because he uh, left his kid in the car on a hot day and he died. Mm. But he was at work. So he died in the kid the, in the dad's work parking lot. And the dad's story was, <sighs> oh, my God, today was my day to drop him off. And I forgot to get him out of the car at school. I forgot to take him to school. I just drove to work because I was late and I left him in the car. Wink by accident. But really, he was trying to murder his son. How did mm. that? It all came out? It, it became like... There was like surveillance footage of like his car along like the route, I guess, and shit like that. Like him going back to the car, yeah. making sure the kid was still in there before he left. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, like they—I forget exactly what it was. If it was a confession or whatever, if they had like a, a chain of evidence, but like yeah, yeah. At first, he was clear. parked in the shade, and he moved it to a sunny spot. Yeah, it's very, dude. It's very clear he didn't want to be daddy. And he was like, oh, shit, did I leave in the car all day and he yeah. died? No, imagine being now, a priest counselor. <laughs> yeah, I had like the depth, dude. Good yeah. question. <laughs> if you had to suss that out, mm -hmm. and you went something stinks here. Mm -hmm. The guy's clearly fake crying amongst like the throes of real grief and agony, and you're like, wait a second. Oh yeah, that probably becomes pretty easy to spot when yeah. a guy's just like, I would do anything to be able to bring him back. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> lunchtime for me. Oh man. So is that if there's anything else you guys need, I'm gonna get out. I'm not being a guy comes in just finishing his meal like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a paper bag like rummaging through like a fucking McDonald's bag. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been to Popeyes? Steven, I know we all grieve in different ways. Yeah, I mean, dude, when a guy gets caught like baking their son in the car, <laughs> that, that's where this whole thing of like, we need a fair and speed. It's like, dude, just hit him with the boson particle accelerator and just <laughs> turn him into energy. Just fucking. <laughs> should be like, dude, mm. just explode them. Where do you stand on the death penalty now? I, I'm in favor of the death penalty. Yeah, I think it should be up to the family of the someone like of the victim. Yeah, like if someone like say someone like you they know get, they get they go. Yeah, the family go do it. Okay, that's where I stand. If I think that's fair. If it's something like fucking super heinous, the family should get to go yes or no. No, I feel like people who deserve the death penalty should be forced into experimental science. Yeah, true. I, okay. I, I'm with yeah. that too. Because then it's or like, what if that was the option? This is totally fair. Like, okay, we keep the death penalty. But we're, writing, we're writing a very can, good sci-fi novel, by the way. You, but go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can you can opt into like Sid said. You don't force them. You go. Do you want to avoid the death penalty? Get in the fucking crate. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this vial full of green goo. Swallow this. <laughs> rub this <laughs> on your face. Swallow this glowing pill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, oh, it, fuck! I made another bebop and rocksteady. Yeah. This is the other thing too. So if you have yes. someone grieving a horrific crime against their loved one, they're grieving. So you're like, they're like, you want to kill this guy? And they're like, fucking kill him. But then maybe they'll get kind of like kill guilt, where they're like, fuck, why'd I kill that guy? For sure, that would be the maybe, new argument. Maybe the state should intervene. Um, I think I should just get to say, honestly. Let me take on the burden. You've got a pretty good feel for it. What do you do? Fuck that guy. Depends on how I feel that day. It'd be different every day. <laughs> nah, man. That's fucked up. Let him go. But yeah, it's... Uh, I, I Brittany said that before with pedophiles. Just like, just test shit on him. Yeah. 
it's like, all right, boom, you're done. And now we're going to test stuff and give them a, I mean, not that it, like a money matters, but it's like, there should be, they should be a high ticket thing where like, you know, Pfizer or someone has to pay a lot to test all these people and the family gets the test. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, but that's not yeah. good. You don't want a financial incentive either because then people start gaming the system. What you do you mean? You're like, saying false accusations? Yeah, false accusations. <laughs> or a little bit of the Michael Jackson, you can hang out at his house treatment. Oh, you mean Ooh. go mow the family, pedophiles lawn again? To collect. They're fly fishing. It might be, exactly. Yeah, yeah you can't put any financial incentive that. Yeah, you're right. Mm. But then, yeah, big poor, P. Poor people will what fuck about, it up. What about like civil cases? You know? That's kind of, that's completely separate from like. Oh, you're saying like if a civil case, like like talking about so like like, money matters, like you, it, yeah, like so a you, lien? you could do a civil case and, and try to go for the money, but like it can't be like the main incentive. Like it's not automatic from the judge, you know? Yeah, I don't know. They should test. They should for sure test on pedophile. That's that's one thing they could do. Mur like pedophile. What kind of stuff do we even need to test anymore? True, we can just unlock an locking, experiment on the entire devices. global population locking at once. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that way, you know, well, I'm not gonna get into it. Ooh, oh, what? Ooh. get into what? Matt, stop. Get dude. into Come what, on, man? You're gonna get us demonetized. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, everyone likes to test. By the way, now. like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, as an as, as an of, official uh, liaison from. Pfizer Corporation. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta wonder what's going through your fucking head right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, people, now people will just, you know, like to try stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's. Did you see the video of uh, <laughs> Fauci and like he hired like a, a black spokes lady to go around in the hood and like knock on people's doors? I, I heard they got rejected. I, I gave up oh, Fauci dude. videos for Lent. So yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> they knocked on no, Unk's. They, they knocked on Unk's door real quick. Oh, he was having it. Wait, so Fauci? He's did like, a, he's like, yeah, he's like, y'all paying people to get the shot. Something's not right. They're like. Fauci yeah. Pokemon black ladies in the hood. Was <laughs> yeah, like, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but he was with them. He he he. he yeah, he was with standing them. there at yeah. the bottom of this guy's he was like steps. Xerxes, <laughs> just traveling with his. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what kind of, I'm me, accompanying an emissary from the federal government. <laughs> Is there a black guy in here I can talk to? <laughs> what? what, <laughs> what <laughs> this is what he thought he would do. This is what he did. I heard he of that did. headline and went. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't care about Fauci stuff, but I do love the hood stuff. Yeah. True. And that's why I was watching it. Yeah. Worlds collide again, dude. Unk, unk came Best out. Of both worlds, worlds collide. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so Fauci, Fauci went to the hood. Yep. Yeah. And they he, told him what's up. He did Pfizer laminate his pass. Where do you get his pass from? His hood pass. His hood pass. Yeah, his I don't know. Pass, I don't know if Pfizer could do that. The gray market. You think Pfizer has that ability? Oh, dude, Pfizer could do anything at this point. I'm, no, I think it's, I think it's, I think it has to come from the. Oh, government. true. No, they fake. Yeah, because yeah. if you listen to like during the pandemic, if you listen to like Power ninety nine, dude, those they were blurring the lines of like commercials and news, where it was like, arr, 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 yeah. global emergency. Hey, black people, it's totally <laughs> chill. Yeah. Hey, black. Hey, brothers. <laughs> I think hey, brothers, don't that get was left. The best. That dude, was the best. The commercials best. Yeah. on Power 99 during the pandemic were insane. Dude, black terrestrial radio commercials <laughs> to get the vaccine were <laughs> the wildest shit ever made. Dude, I was too, I was tuning in going, oh my god. <laughs> McDonald's does it too. Hey, you know what's cap? <laughs> like, what, uh, the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Speaking of cap, <laughs> pop that off and do a needle, dude. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Yeah. Oh, Dude, man. I, think, I wish I think, David James was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is his fucking wheelhouse. Oh, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm about to say another one that he would fucking knock out of the park. <laughs> dude, if you go to the DMV and the black chick that's giving you shit, if you, if you also give her shit but not enough to get kicked out, I think you get an official hood pass. I think she give she stamps the hood pass. So if you give the black, if you're talking if you about... Give, like you give an equal yeah, amount you, of attitude. If you act stupid with a black lady, that's like... That's the secret handshake. Yeah, but not so stupid she gets fired or you get kicked out. Right. You're saying you get a G pass by giving the lady the DMV attitude? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I you think she. I think she slides. Oh, you, you think she slides level. you the card? Yeah. I got you. If you, was... if you play too damn much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's like a video game you, power. Yeah, it doesn't last forever. Dude, it doesn't last forever. If you, if you play you too damn license. much and yeah. just enough at the same time, I see. Too damn much is exactly the right amount. Yeah. I thought you said like word travels. She literally laminates you a G pass. Mm hmm. It's like a secret test. For sure. Yeah, like, like next to organ donor, it's it, just like about that. It <laughs> dude, about that life. About that. <laughs> HBL, he about that life. <laughs> Yo, yes. You get an HBL license. <laughs> <laughs> HBL certified. <laughs> oh yeah, you're like I'm leaving this place. 
I got a drink to keep my HBL up, dude. <laughs> Yo, can I get another Hennessy, please? <laughs> I keep this HBL fresh. <laughs> Gotta keep it fresh. <laughs> the HBL driving test is like, no, no, I need your car completely crooked. <laughs> you actually take Handicap. the test sitting in the passenger seat with a fat white girl driving? <laughs> the test you is get, mostly uh, driving in reverse, you leave your car, you, you have handicap plates for no reason. You go, oh, nice. This is, this will come in. This is great. Yeah, because my grandma got cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, around with your grandma's handicap. <laughs> There's pretty pointed that out to me. That was one of the funniest things she's ever said. A dude was ble- like bumping some sort of song and just stunting. She's like, "Oh no!" There's, she checked for the handicap place and goes, "Hate to see another guy stunting in his grandma's car." <laughs> I said, "Babe, give me, a, give me a big kiss." That's very funny. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of evidence that it used to be a police car. <laughs> <laughs> it's still got like the hood light thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my man. god. Yeah, so oh, what the hell are we even talking about? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Pfizer. <laughs> yeah, testing on pedophiles. I mean, I, I, oh, I, oh yeah. You could be a, what if you could test new martial arts on them? That'd be Ooh. cool. I know you're talking about like in a clinical setting. I'm talking about standing on like bamboo tatames oh. and just trying new spin kicks. On I thought them. you were talking about Krav Maga and you just like jerk everybody off instead of grabbing their dick. That's gay. <laughs> Krav Maga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a knee, dude. I'm going to take a knee on that. <laughs> you know, you know, you're talking about just... She giving them a taste of their own business. Yeah, dude. that's you have to with pedophiles. And calling it Krav Maga. He's like, I'm not sucking <laughs> these guys' dicks. I'm doing martial arts. I'm rubbing his nose in it. <laughs> Damn, what if mm. you, oh, uh, like, how do you guys like it? And you dressed, you, you got like advanced makeup to look like you were 150 years old. Mm. How does it feel to be way younger? 37 year old pedophile. Yeah, I, I, I was like thinking maybe like wear like a propeller <laughs> hat. <laughs> And like really You're saying you want to dress dude. them up in you a baby yeah, diaper. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to dress up pedophiles and fuck them. <laughs> You're going to knock out all their teeth but two in the bottom. Right. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not fucking fuck them, them, them like I'm testing baby. them. You're going to shave their them. entire head except for a little tuft in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and paint their cheeks rosy red. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to be filling out a form the whole entire time. Oh, dude. And you can, you can intoxicate them so like they can kind of almost climb out of a pack and play <laughs> not quite if you would talk if you like teeter them where they had like mm. basic work you should just do like experiments for fun let's just let's just cut it all out Ooh, fun let's start yeah let's start pulling parts out of their brain logging it seeing what's up mm-hmm. yeah let's get to the bottom of the human you know like the human biocomputer with pedophiles yeah just shove stuff up their butts yeah, I mean, just for good measure. Yeah, just just like yeah, we're measuring your brain waves, and it's we're, just like, we're seeing how many batteries can fit in your rectum. Oh man, mm. that would be a good thing to test out yeah. Elon Musk's um, Neuralink. We we might be battery oh. tested on pedophiles, but then, I mean, what if they tap? They have to blur the those computer board? screens. <laughs> 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 oh my God! There's a mega download. <laughs> <laughs> They're at the Consumer Electronics Show. They're like, and we've successfully implanted a Neuralink in a pedophile, and it's a 62 foot screen, and it's just naked children being projected. <laughs> Turn on. it off! Shut it down! <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> just, they might, they, <laughs> There's someone pulling gigantic sparking wires out of like the the whole <laughs> setup. He might work his way into the mainframe. Yeah, oh, I mean, if, he gets, if he gets into the electrical grid, <laughs> yeah, they, might get <laughs> they start the syncing up. <laughs> oh, if they started syncing up. Oh man! man. You, you trigger to watch the news, and it's just like an eight-year-old duct tape to a couch. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shut him down! <laughs> Shut him down! You're the Are governor you? who funded the whole project. It's, it's finally affecting you. You think it's not? Uh, Turn it off! Wild if that's how a pedophile took over the world. He just hacked into they the jacked fucking into grid. The grid. Some would argue that pedophiles did take over. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about that either. <laughs> yeah, I love to think about it. if that's so fake. That's so funny for dudes in power to be like. What the fuck? <laughs> We're all pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to order a bunch of hot dogs to the White House. <laughs> now and then, you can't do one good thing, dude. Every good deed's unpunished. What if a guy did order 10,000 hot dogs at midnight? Like, this is going to be so funny. <laughs> now they think I'm sucking guys' dicks? 
Kids' dicks. Kids' dicks specifically, and walnuts for little black guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was the term, by the Wait, way. Wait, what? Yeah, what black was guy, pizza? Pizza, I think, was just, ah, I don't know. I forget. That might know. be Hollywood slang. I don't know if that's DC slang. Yeah, really. Pizza like, might be Hollywood. That was so funny. That was so fun, dude. For like two years leading up to COVID, it was just like <laughs> storming pizza places. <laughs> Obama ordered 800 little black kids in the <laughs> White House. Whatever came uh, of the... Um, can you, you can talk about it now. Yeah, I yeah. got that shit way too late, man. Did you? Yeah, it was like at the end of it by the time I heard about it. People were like debunking it by the time I heard about yeah. it. I didn't get to have any fun with what it. What was the debunk on it? Didn't happen. <laughs> nah, but Obama was like, didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> nah, son. Damn, you, those cool playlists still, would make a lot more sense, though. Can you order? Can you still <laughs> order a thirty thousand dollar like recycling bin on Wayfair, or did they get rid of that stuff? What was that for? That was kids. Oh, <gasps> that was your buying child's license. Really? Yeah. And you just write it off. Oh, that was the Wayfair scandal. Yeah, the Wayfair scandal was. Dude, they're gonna cut. Someone's gonna come in and rip that jacket off. <laughs> you don't deserve to wear this. They're gonna pull my colors. <laughs> you don't deserve to wear this. <laughs> You call yourself a Pfizer man. Well, there is a shot, to be fair, there is a chance that that's just like a gigantic thing that everyone just taps into. Because it's like, you know, if you're just a frustrated animal and you're like, you see the powers that be, what better thing to do than slowly to stable, slowly to stabilize their position just by like nothing but just like heinous, unfounded accusations. That could be a thing. Okay. But it's so fucking funny. If mm. worst case scenario, I've, well, worst case scenario is, is all true. Best case scenario is all false. But it's like, let the people have a good time. We live in a free democracy, dude. We're having fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's I guess part of the be, game. It's part of the game, It's part guys. of the game, dude. Toughen up. Grow some thick skin. Yeah, like, you, dude, you think it's not, on, it's uncomfortable learning how to, like, glad hand a bunch of people at, like, a campaign event. Yeah. Dealing with pedophile accusations <laughs> is the exact same skill set. Cannibalistic <laughs> pedophile <laughs> ac Cannibalistic satanic pedophilia. <laughs> Dealing with those accusations, that's just another part of the, that's politicking for you, dude. When you put it this way, it does seem like there is some sort of collective <laughs> frustration people are taking out. Dude, when you're in Ivy League college, that's the defense against the art, dark arts. It's just, you go into a classroom and they teach you how to be accused of pedophilia and cannibalism every day. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the spells that you cast are just like hiring different lawyers and shit. Yeah, and you're all practicing like biting into ice cream. Like. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit you with the Satanism, cannibalistic stuff, then you're going to hit him with, I would say, vanilla chocolate. No, no, no chocolate ice cream. That's... Yeah, could you uh, wear like kind of a casual button-down shirt with like the sleeves rolled up to your forearms and... I read Shake something. hands with cashiers and stuff. So I read yeah, something oh, recently. Just like one of you, a 101. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Mitt Romney. What was I fucking researching? I think it was something about clothes. And I don't remember. Like, don't just give me this one. And give me that my, my origins are humble. But for some reason, I, I researched, I Googled it. And I, don't, I wish I remembered why. But it was like, what do, what, <laughs> what clothing, how to dress that's attractive to women. <laughs> It wasn't for me. Yes, it, it was. No, it yes, it was. I'm telling you. I said, oh give me a fucking God. break here. Matt, do you need help? No, no. <laughs> Why wouldn't you come to your boys with this? <laughs> I swear. I was researching yeah, something dude. that caught my fancy. And I went, wait what a second. Nah, you were trying to get fresh to death. Dude, me, me and Danny oh. were just talking to Ben about this yesterday. Dude, your friends are here. You can come to us with this kind of stuff. I don't know why. I you wish my What memory. kind of information were they giving you, Matt? On the internet. <laughs> Rolling up your sleeves is <laughs> it when you said that I, was, oh, I forgot about that oh my god what the hell man I wish my memory wasn't failing me the heck? Uh, I think your memory is doing just fine no there was something I was looking up where I was just like oh, mm. I wish I could remember it because I was like what I don't know guys you were like noticing that the trend in the way that Britney's been dressing you lately no, I'm, I'm, dude, obviously this is full, I got full fucking commands right now. <laughs> right, today. Winter jacket. <laughs> yeah, today. All day, every day. <laughs> My he wife tries. dresses me. No, no, dude, you, Brittany, she definitely started having influence on the way you dress. You used to always dress like a bad kid. Ooh. Now, now I'm a mogul, dude. Dude, Man, every now like, and again, every now and again, goggles. I'm like, oh shit, Matt Sharp today. What the, where the fuck that come from? I wear jeans and a t-shirt every day and a hooded sweatshirt. I'm going to start taking pics. Take pics. Yeah. I'm going to start snapping. I need to see proof. Matt, yeah. Matt doesn't even know he's entered his mogul era. <laughs> although, <laughs> He although, took the turtleneck off and thought that <laughs> it didn't leave a stain. <laughs> Turtleneck's fine. She hates turtlenecks. I, <laughs> but to be fair, I have gotten, this is a thing with, and maybe you've experienced this in your own way, but it's like, 
I have for sure taken like obviously taking like fa- like you know gifts and like you know, like wear this this will be cool. So I get like kind of, they'll make me kind of like black eye fly mm-hmm. in a point where I'm kind of like the power is too powerful for me, babe. Take this buttoned up sweater turtleneck all the way off me. Yeah, oh, she's man. bought me stuff and I'm like oh this I'm like black eye fly right now. Yeah. Has, has anyone gifted you like a short sleeve but still flowing white linen shirt? I wish, dude. Mm, that man, would be all be me. Powerful. That would be all me. But I'm, I'm telling you, my ex wife one time put me in like a linen button down guayabera, which is a guayabera is like a four a, a button a button down short sleeve with four pockets. Mm-hmm. And I remember being Woo. like pushing the limits of like my, my <laughs> brother said I look like a Cuban drug lord. Yeah, sell, like, selling coke. Nice, for sure, a coke dealer. <laughs> like Ooh, like man. a high up coke dealer, not a, not a street level. Yes, I was. Yeah. It was yeah. Get some very small sunglasses to go with it, dude. And everyone's laughing. Nice. I was like, because I, I was just like, yeah, what the hell? I won't put up any. I'll just put on with the stuff. And I, I ended up looking a goddamn fool. Yeah. But to be honest, <laughs> yeah. I felt I personally was like, this cool. This is me. Some this sort of cool. like fancy brown loafers with no socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have them in my closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then just the shortest stride possible. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hip. <laughs> have you ever? What, what's the fashion? What's the fashion stuff you get? Uh, I don't. I don't do fashion anymore. I'm out of the game. I I, I take advantage of. The I'm cl- saying. From, oh, do you completely? So you're gonna you get like white. You're still getting lady input. Well, no. There's a there's a clause. Uh, when you're when you are black, as long as you're like the the stuff you're wearing is kind of fresh, like kind of mm-hmm. newish and, and looks mm-hmm. crisp, and your hairline's right, that becomes a new way for a black eye to look fly. I'm saying, but what what do you do? How do you handle like? Because it's like you know, because there's like the you have a bunch of like collective forces. You have like the black fashion, white fashion, but then you have wife. Husband, so your wife, white wife, is going like, that's what you're wearing? Can you be like, do you have any idea who the fuck you're talking to? <laughs> like, how do you handle it? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you handle it? No, nah, you, you got to be like, just watch. And then you got to go shape up your hairline and come back and be like, look at me now. Walk down the steps like, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> Dude, that's, I, I, man, it's, my wife isn't even a concern. My daughters are starting to become the issue. For what? Like I'll come downstairs and something, and my like my one my youngest my youngest twin will be like, "That's what you're wearing." I was like, "How bad can it be?" And I saw the uh, Bigfoot <laughs> fucking <laughs> big corner sleeve hoodie, and I went, "Dude, just today, my my daughter was like, you wear that all the time.' <laughs> like, just, it's a good shirt." Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yo, my other daughter asked me the other day, "When are you getting a haircut?" Damn. Yeah, it's tough. Your daughters are black as hell. Yeah, dude. they are black. They're <laughs> very black ethnically black. <laughs> they are very ethnically black. <laughs> Mom, dad's leaving the house in three quarter sleeves and three quarter pants again. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, why are you letting Mom? daddy walk out of this house looking like a corny ass ball? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, looking a goddamn fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That. Uh, yeah, they, I wonder. I, I get the pressure. Matching. I fight the pressure a lot, but it's like, I don't know, there's something about, dude, like, let's match, let's, like, wear a matching tie to my dress, I used to always be like, never, no, but yeah, now it doesn't bother me as much, I don't care. Do you guys like matching? What do you guys do? Or is that not a thing? We, yeah, I end up, I end up, like, matching incidentally. Plus, you like you pick it like, oh wow, this is laid out on the bed perfectly. <laughs> 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 what a cool coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, pretty tight. I've yeah, been meaning to wear that incident, shirt you got I, me. I like incidental matches. It's color I'm a fan. Incident, incidental color matching. Yeah, and I, sure. yeah. I mean, obviously, you can't wear a dress to the wedding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that would be next level <laughs> to Willow Smith. Mm. Bro. Mm. Is it Willow? No, Willow's a daughter. What's Jayden, his son's Jayden 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 Smith. Jaden Smith. Dude, I'm saying all of our families need to get Jaden. Just to walk in and be like, what? This is me now. I mean, I mean, you would kind of steal the show, which would be unfortunate, dude. But what if going I mean, back to officiating? Have you thought about half suit, half dress, Ooh. one shave, leg. and then like I have my hair all beautiful on one side of my head, <laughs> and the other side it's like very slick and combed. Yeah. I'm gonna shave this half of my beard and put lipstick on. Oh half your man, mouth, <laughs> one half of your mouth is like it's so hot out here. And like just fine, shut up. <laughs> 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 I'm still wearing the Aztec headdress and <laughs> 700 pound stone wings. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah I was just these are all on the yeah. table, dude. Not, I haven't eliminated anything yet. That's. <laughs> are you the fashion? What I want to get? I'm going to ask you the hard hitting questions. Are you the fashion authority in your house or what? Oh boy, I hope not. 
I hope not. I, although I, I was just telling my daughters last night that the only time that uh, it's okay for a guy to dress up in women's clothes is to like trick somebody. It's to, like trick somebody for the greater good. Oh, to like trick a hunter who's like trying to shoot you? It is the Bugs Bunny clothes. Yeah. So they're watching Demon Slayer right now. And yeah. like the season they're watching, it's like it takes place like in a brothel. And like two of the main characters had to like. How dress are you, up. What is this show? Demon Slayer. <laughs> Demon Slayer. Yeah. Why are you? Why are your kids watching a show named Demon I didn't, Slayer I didn't, with brothels? Well, I didn't, it was just it's a, it's a fucking martial arts anime. Uh, okay. I can't. De- I can't deny. Hey, I can't cartoon. deny them a martial arts uh, anime. Dude, how how are you with standing anime brothels without? That's a masturbatory episode. Well, I have to, I'm, I have to, I have to watch it now because I have to know exactly to the depth. You need every dirty little detail. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. I do. Yeah. So like, so like the two oh, I like the story, babe. <laughs> Dude, if I see an anime brothel, I'm running upstairs to fap. <laughs> I'm two steps at a time. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't peeped it yet, but Ansley has told me that it is fappable. <sighs> Damn. She, she's, she's peeped it, and she's like, you're, you're, pull the plug. You might not want to. God damn, dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm a big pussy. Brittany makes fun of me all the time. I'm like, we're not watching this. Or she's like, they'll be fine. I'm like, no. I'm a big baby about Danny, that. Danny, can, yeah. can we please clip Matt saying I'm a big pussy? I'm a huge pussy, dude. I know it. <laughs> mm. I'm a, I wish I remembered why I, drew, I Googled that search, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My intentions were noble and pure. I know it, dude. You, you wait, you can't remember why you searched how to dress dude. to it was, attract a woman? I was re- I was watching something else. It, it was in like a Google hole and I went like, I was like, re- it was something about someone being fashionable. And I'm like, where, what even is like, what's the thing? It was like, oh, like, like so the you're way, not saying how oh. to, you're saying what's the current way to dress to make oh, a woman? No, I, w- I was saying like when I was thinking specifically of this idea of like getting dressed up, I think it was for, I don't know, it wasn't for, no, it wasn't for like the engagement, I was thinking about yeah. engagement photos, but there what, was what, like, were you, what, what was the soundtrack? What were you listening to at this time? I don't know if I was even listening to anything. It was like, again, whenever I'm doing the dishes, I get distracted. I'm like YouTubing something and looking something up and it was like, I was like, what even is, I, there was, there's just a couple branches, dude, there's nothing there. It's gone, dude. My brain is a fucking cliff. My brain's square and stuff just <laughs> falls off of it. I have no idea. But I remember I was like trying to think like what even is like the acceptable, like what's the move now? And it was it was just suits. You know what? I, I might have been looking for an evolutionary basis for like what would be attractive for what. I think I was thinking of like in the, the future. Big hand. Well, yeah, they, you're trying for, to predict for guys in porn. For guys in, and again, I'm just I'm pulling stuff out of an abyss. That's just now I'm just dealing with my imagination. I don't know. <laughs> But dude, <laughs> that's all I have left, dude. Because <laughs> there was that thing in that one book, A Billion Wicked Thoughts, where they said like they Googled porn, they like took the metadata from porn searches, and they were like big eyes, uh, something. They, they they did like a shrink down map of like the things, like the way women are searched, and it was like a big eyed lady with a small waist and a humongous butt and tiny feet. Cause that's like, that all ties to like reproductive traits. Dude, my algorithm got sucked into this one chick not too long ago. She has like big eyes and she just puts her feet behind her head. That's it. Weird. She just makes little shorts on YouTube. How'd your algorithm get sucked into that? Well, I saw one and I clicked on it and then I went to her page and I clicked on all the videos and I kept scrolling the through. The strangest thing happened. What the heck? <laughs> babe, did you, babe, did your algorithm okay? Because Then, then totally I, subs- I subscribed to her page and then I hit that bell for reminders. <laughs> she has big eyes and she puts her legs up. Dude, yeah. I think my phone's listening to who I subscribe to on OnlyFans. <laughs> my YouTuber algorithm is all fucked up. Yeah, and I keep sending her DMs, which she never replies to. And uh, Yeah, I don't know how it happened though, man. It's just <laughs> just for like two weeks. <laughs> all I was doing is commenting on all of her stuff. Yeah, she has a podcast. <laughs> uh, so she has big eyes and she puts her head, feet above her head? Yeah, she like, she sits down and she just puts both legs behind her head. Let me tell now, you does this. she only show her face and ankles or does she show you her bottom part too? Whole body. What the hell, man? Yeah. Whole body. What all the all heck? That's porn. That's yeah. porn. She also does like <laughs> fashion videos where she like tries on different clothes. Oh, that you're talking about. Oh, you're in a dark I, porn dude, hole, what? dude. No, YouTube. I know someone who is in YouTube. It's porn. It, my it friend is, was telling me about this. I won't it, say who it was. One of my friends said that was their that was their fat fuel. 
and they were off the porn and they started watching ladies and try out like new outfits. Well, that's dude, bro. I'm, I'm, you're on the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is like oh this God. is like a strong two. Weeks. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, brother. And the whole time I'm like, this is this is fucking basically porn. Like it's what I was thinking, but it's like it's deeper I, than porn. But also bro. in my mind, it was like it's not because I'm developing a connection with this chick. <laughs> Dude, it's not, I wasn't actually developing a connection. I know you are. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. high, obviously. But you know what I'm saying? But that's what that's what it was like geared to <laughs> I'm do. I'm sending messages to the yeah, camera. Yeah, that's what it was geared to do. Stop sending messages to the camera, now. Stop sending contrary messages to what you're saying to me in the camera. I'm Janice Face. You know what Janice Face is? Yeah. Those old, yeah, those both old, sides. like, mytholo- the yeah, best those, of both like, worlds. Mythological. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those mythological creatures that have, like, two faces. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's, but, the, it's the beginning and the end of the year. Dude. Uh, no, I appreciate your vulnerability. I'm saying if you really like this girl, all you gotta do is put on a suit and roll up your sleeves, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. She will have no or choice. Or put on a Bigfoot shirt and roll up your sleeves. But they respect you. Oh, yeah. So they, they had these, these combination of search terms for women to, to kind of put together like a, you know, like an amalgamation or whatever. I, I they have one for fellas? To, oh, how, I, I mean... We can we can Google I mean, dudes with big eyes. <laughs> it sounds like you tried to Google this already <laughs> oh, and forgot. I, we, hopefully my bra- my browser. There's a good chance my browser is still open. That you have to nice. throw your phone in the ocean. No, I, I, mm. I did. I know my heart's pure. I know my heart is completely pure. Yeah, you got to trust the purity of your heart. If you can't trust the purity of your own heart, who's can you trust? Exactly, dude. No, I don't know. I dude, I wish it, I, I had a good reason. But either way, let's <laughs> Google what a yeah. What's a guy look for in girl? Dude, I'll, actually, let me do this. Um... What, how, let me see if I can Google the exact thing. <clears throat> what clothing <laughs> do women find attractive on men? That's a good one. I'm going to ask yeah. Chad GPT at the same the time. The first response is, welcome back, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> it was one, this is what it was. I was finding people also asking, I was clicking those. Yeah. Style of clothes. Dressy or collared shirts pair well with dress pants <laughs> or jeans. Here we go. You were trying to get the mystery this, this was homepage. It. This was it, dude. There. Okay, so yeah, yep, yep. There's a what men's clothes do women find attractive? That was the thing that yeah. came up. That wasn't uh, what people ask, dude. Uh, a suit that fits properly, rolled sleeves, chinos, Henleys, yes, V-neck sweaters, and they even brought up mankles, which they like to see men's ankles now. Mm-hmm. Your mangles, dude. Gross. Yeah, man. Dude, I mean, bro, this could be us, dude. <laughs> this could be you. Are you wearing a bow tie? Yeah, Ooh. dude. With a flannel shirt? This is what we, dude. This that's is what a, that's I was, a tight shirt. I was Googling this because I was just curious. Great taste in shoes. Do you have Was he wearing ju- a watch? Uh, yeah, obviously, dude. Leather ri- wristband. Me, you have to basically. Become a huge pussy, but you know what yeah. I mean? Like it's just Although I feel like if you dress like this You're also signifying that like you can beat people up because you're like no one can make fun of me <laughs> Oh, they're just these are just dressing like billionaires. Oh Yeah, you have to just look like you're rich Mankles dude. Oh my god. Yeah, like, hit me with some mankle angles, dude What how are they doing this mankles look at that just I'm wearing obviously I'm biz cash But I got the chucks on dude, and I'm showing my mankles that guy is pretty cash. Yeah, He's dude. cash from the shin down. I'm gonna hit my dude. One oh, yeah. day I'm gonna go in fully and hit my wife with that. And it's like, what's up? What's up? I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about dressing fly, GQing, just like just to see what kind of reaction I get from like the household on onward. I might go to jujitsu, jeet up. You might wrestle someone in like a Lou Vega suit. <laughs> 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 We're an hour. We got to get off right now. We're going to the Patreon, dude. We're going to get to the bottom of what women find irresistible, dude. <laughs> you can't stop this. Magoobies 420. Let's go. <laughs> yes, for 420. Matt for all my tickets. And I'll be in New Brunswick, Stress Factory. Yeah, the week this yeah. comes out, I'll be there. So Ask in the game on Instagram. Game, yeah. We're going to be doing some sick athletic shit. Yeah, uh, that's going to be exciting, man. Stress Factory um, will be nasty, factory, bro. Yeah. New Brunswick, New Jersey. Get there. Yeah. Get there. I'm still on my athletic path. Please. Yeah. Let's get, dude, get into the Patreon dude, right fucking now. I have fitness goals. 